Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright. I hope you're having a terrific Tuesday. Several states are now being sued for canceling their unemployment benefits. Find out what happens when they lose. Yep, good news. Folks in another state, they're not taking no for an answer when it comes to unemployment benefits. They're taking it into their own hands. Why Joe Biden is confidently waving off inflation. And finally, if you've been denied unemployment benefits, good news, you could be getting your money now. Also, I'm going to tell you about my, my pool guy who made $1.2 million while he was cleaning my pool last year. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. These people have no idea the guy he really is. People ask me what I do for a living. I tell them I'm a pole dancer. <laughs> Here's your unemployment update for Tuesday, July 20th, 2021. My goal is to give you access to government and private money for yourself, loved ones, and your business. So stay tuned for three personal finance videos and real estate stock market, uh, stimulus, unemployment, investments, and to help you generate income and save you loads of money. Right now I'm giving away 1900 bucks. All you gotta do is subscribe, like, and comment. That's it, and you could win $1,900 cash. We're gonna pick a random comment and launch out 1900 bucks. Also, I have a real estate program. I love real estate. I've spent $45 million on my education learning through mistakes. And I would love it if you don't have to go through that for $99. I got a course, 36 videos, resource list, everything. I mean, it's a master's in real estate. You can click in the link description below and it has a breakdown. You can watch the first couple of videos and it's only $99 with the code boom. It's amazing. So make sure you don't miss out on that. Grab your stock also in there. You can get two stocks valued up to 2,300 bucks. Link down below. So check that out. Finally, Thanks to all my Patreon supporters for as low as $3 to support the channel, five articles, and a look at my investments. First off, Indiana. Yes, we're talking about, we've talked about this before, and, you know, on again, off again, like crazy, right? Like a bad relationship about unemployment benefits. First, they put an end to the weekly checks, but we're forced to reinstate them after a lawsuit. It's crazy, but the state has actually filed an appeal. I can't believe this. It's just absolutely crazy, right? Governor Eric Holcomb. Yep, he can't take losing. Don't you think that you could, you know, he doesn't think it's fair that the judge to tell them uh, what to do, and now he's saying they're not required to participate in the CARES Act at all. Are we serious right now? He filed an appeal saying, yes, the state, the governor, Using him, he's fighting back, say, and he's appealing it with the judge. Quote, after studying the labor shortage problem and unemployment data, this is from him, the governor reasonably determined that the CARES Act benefits, while at one time useful, were stunting Indiana's recovery from the pandemic by incentivizing some people not to re-enter the workforce, end quote. However, the judge, yep, the judge, John Henley said that ending the benefits goes against state law, so it's not looking like the appeal will hold up. So stay positive, Indiana. You got good things coming your way. You got to remember, they got to find something that actually has legs to get an appeal actually done. And I wouldn't want to be the one uh, hearing that appeal right now. So in the meantime, looks like you should be good, but we'll see what happens. We'll keep you updated. Speaking of fighting back, let's talk about the people of Pittsburgh for a bit. Yep, Pittsburgh. We got activists there. They are on the loose and they're rallying at the steps of the federal building in downtown Pittsburgh today. Exciting news for unemployment. And they're asking for what's rightfully theirs. As U.S. citizens, people that pay taxes to the federal government, the Moon Valley Unemployed Committee uh, now that we have committees, folks, had to point out a couple of things for just that they think just doesn't jive with them. First of all, thousands of unemployment benefits were ended illegally with absolutely no notice. So funny. It's not legal that they ended this. Even a judge is saying it in one state. And, you know, this is federal government. Secondly, the committee director, Barney Ausler, said, quote, it recently came to light that the Lab Department of Labor and Industry overcharged interest on unemployment compensation over payments. Now they're breaking federal law, end quote. Yikes. Yep, the committee is like, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, we're checking stuff out. The committee is demanding Governor Tom Wolf to reinstate 
their unemployment and give back what's owed also get to the bottom of why their unemployment system is so sketchy and mismanaged. Hey, you know, you can't be, keep people down forever. They will fight back. I mean, just, just the amount of people that we're seeing standing up for themselves and fighting for what's theirs and winning the fight is incredible to see. I, you know, this is amazing. People coming together and saying, wait a minute. And as we talked about on the channel, the studies show six out of seven people, only one out of seven are not wanting to re-enter the marketplace. Six are really having a tough time finding a job. And one that pays minimum wage when they got a three or $400,000 house probably doesn't cut it, folks. Next, let's talk about why people are asking for their unemployment checks lately and why they need the money. That's a big, scary word, right? Inflation. Inflation has been all over. You've seen it in the news, YouTube videos all about it. Yes, things are getting pricey, but not much longer. Yesterday, Joe Biden, our president, said that their, quote, experts believe, his people who study all this stuff, experts believe, and the data shows that most of the pricing increases we've seen were expected and are expected to be temporary, end quote. That's great news for anyone who hates spending a lot more money right now. <laughs> so, yes, President Biden continued saying, quote, if your primary concern right now is inflation, you should be even more enthusiastic about this plan, end quote. The plan being his huge bill totaling $4.7 trillion price tag. Well, that's coming our way, but the bills will, quote, increase productivity, raise wages without raising prices, end quote. The Biden administration feels very confident this will reverse inflation. We have saw oil prices drop yesterday, which is a good sign. Uh, even though in Vegas, we, we couldn't get, there were a lot of gas stations we couldn't get gas at. They had a huge thing on the news about not being able to get gas. It's pretty good to hear, though, that the president uh, are, is talking about everyday items, that they're going to be affordable in the future. This is fantastic, obviously, you know, and he's got the number crunchers to do it. So, and they've been able to navigate this storm, right, folks? It's been crazy. Finally, the same thing can be said for your state government, too, because Finally, if you didn't qualify for unemployment before, you might be getting it now. We already talked about Ohio in another video and covered that extensively, offering waivers to folks who were overpaid unemployment. The waivers let Ohio citizens keep their benefits. Yep, I'm sorry, it wasn't your mistake. Go ahead and keep it. Now here's great news for the people of Michigan. Your state will start doing the same thing very soon. It might not be just Michigan though, so that's right, your state too, if you aren't from Michigan, of course. So make sure you check out your state to see if they waived it. I try and cover as much as I can, but obviously it's like popcorn. We got 50 states plus five territories. I can't, you know, it's hard to cover all of them. Lisa Elson Olson with the Unemployment Insurance Agency said the United States Department of Labor, quote, has authorized states to waive overpayments if the state determines that overpayment was without fault on the part of the person who applied for the benefits, end quote. So if you didn't fake something, if you didn't, you know, if it was for real, you probably keep the money, especially if you spent it. This is incredible relief for so many people that, you know, and we've covered on, a lot of people have said in the comments that they got paid and then they said they got to pay it all back and they can't even get through the, the systems to be able to talk to a human being or get an answer. So if your unemployed was wrongfully canceled due to accidental overpayment, not at all your fault, you're getting your money back. As well, you may keep getting your money because now you're not caught up in the bureaucracy because you, you might catch the virus called the bureaucracy. If you still haven't applied for unemployment insurance, apply today. Simply check out your state's PUA and UI website. Show them your employment history, identification documents. You may have to use that ID me with your cell phone instead of a computer. Fill out the application as genuinely as possible. And the best of your ability, just be honest and truthful. Answer those questions. You could receive a backdated check of twenty, twenty-two thousand dollars $22,000, especially if you used up all your savings and, and couldn't get through. Make sure you try again if you were without work. If you're a gig worker, self-employed, independent contractor, 1099, don't sell yourself down the river. You could get these PUA benefits. Make sure you check out these amazing government Disaster relief funds, if you missed your work while you were a freelancer, 
you could cover those gaps in unemployment and file for the weeks you miss. So please keep sharing your experience with the PUA and unemployment benefits in your state. Please be safe out there. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Andrew Cartwright. I appreciate you and love you. Take care. So I, I had to, you know, um, I had to film you because I, I mean, you've been cleaning the pool for how long? Eight years. Eight years. Yeah. So in eight years, we've gotten to know each other really well. I have so much respect and love for Tim and for, you know, a lot of different reasons, but just because he's an incredible guy. But in addition to that, most people see him come inside, clean the pool. Yeah and you know grab the stuff and then leave and probably feel sorry for you like oh my god this guy is working in 119 degree weather <laughs> and uh, you know horrible and man he must be just having a tough time and broke very few people know that like last year in real estate you made over a million two yeah just passively with yeah. a completely 40 units completely rented, Yeah. right? Yeah. In a whole different state that you don't even yeah. see. I don't manage. You don't manage. Yep. And you're, you, you made a million too, just just like that, doing what you love, right? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm not doing pools because I have to. It's just, you know, it's something I enjoy doing. I, I really only work about, you know, 20 to 30 hours a week. I, I you know, I have three day weekends every weekend and stuff. And uh, um, yeah, I have I have all I have other interests, things that I like to do, you know, like restoring old motorcycles and stuff like that. So this gives me the freedom to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's it's so funny. I I, I saw you in a silhouette when I was out here. I'm studying in the morning. I saw you, you know, just doing the thing, and I'm I'm, I'm just thinking, man, I just love this guy so much. He's just so incredible. I've had such a fun life. Yeah, I. Not had. Well, yeah, I'm, <laughs> still, I'm still working having. on it. Yeah, having. <laughs> Don't sell us over the river yet, That's right? right? But it, how did you get started? I mean, how did you get started? Because my audience, um, you know, well, obviously some of them, I mean, the idea that you could have just sat back and collected your own a million dollars plus your rent revenue and all that um, just sitting at home. Yeah. Um, what, how'd you get started? Well, um, back in uh, March of 2000, uh, my wife and I were sitting on the couch. We were watching Alan Greenspan talk about irrational exuberance. And I said, boy, I think that's a sign right there, you know. And I had a 1965 Mustang Fastback that I had restored. I love restoring old cars and motorcycles and stuff. And so we sold it and got 12 grand out of it. And we bought this house in San Juan Capistrano, about three miles, two miles from the beach. Wow. And it was a little three bedroom, one and a half bath. 1200 square foot patio home zero lot lines you know your neighbor's living room wall was was the side of your yard you know but uh it was a good time we only paid 200 for it and uh prices yeah. were going up interest rates were going down six months later we refied pulled out enough money to buy two more homes okay. six months later we did it all again and you know just kept doing that and by february of 2006 we had 30 properties i think we had like 68 doors total wow and um about a million six of equity and wow. so lucky for us, we uh, sold at the right time, got out. Um, but unfortunately, we got back into the market in apartment buildings. We ended up <laughs> with six apartment buildings with 524 units. Right. And then 2008 came and phew, Everybody got crushed. In yeah. And so we barely Me hung too. on to one property and made a really nice profit on it, actually. And uh, we took that money and we bought a place down in Texas. And uh, it went up about 40% since we bought it uh, less than two years ago. Wow. So, yeah, so that was kind of nice. So in, uh, just just this year, it went up a million to plus, you yeah, have yeah. passive income coming from it. Yeah, yeah. And in fact, talking. it's paid off. Yeah, we paid cash for it. Oh my God, that's so, just so incredible. So it's pretty soon I'm gonna try and refi and pull some money out and leverage into some other properties. But uh, right now, interest rates are you know pretty low. So I'll, I think I'll pull the money out, but I think I still think we're gonna have a correction. So I might wait to get to go and buy some more property. Yeah, but uh, well, thanks. I, I know you're yeah. cleaning. You know what? I'd love to have you um, on my podcast. I have a second channel where I have the podcast. I'd love to sit down and, and, and talk yeah, more sure. about that stuff. In air condition. In air yeah. condition. <laughs> it's humid. It's like, uh, I don't know, a hundred and something. It's yeah. crazy out here, it right? It's 50% humidity this morning. It's supposed to be a hundred today. So oh, yeah. it's, it feels like Hawaii, right? Yeah. That's it's what, crazy. I go through about two or three gallons of water a day. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing so much You're and for welcome. stopping. And I appreciate you so much. You bet. Thank you, Tim. You appreciate bet. you, buddy. Thanks yeah. for having me on. Thank you. Yeah.